Trend Lines Charts reveal the actions of bulls and bears. Bottoms of declines show where bears stopped and bulls regained control of the market. Peaks of rallies show where bulls ran out of steam and bears gained control. A line connecting two nearby bottoms shows the lowest common denominator of bullish power. A line that connects two nearby tops shows the lowest common denominator of the power of bears. Those lines are called trend lines. Traders use them to identify trends. When prices rally, draw an uptrend line across the bottoms. When prices decline, draw a downtrend line across the tops. Projecting those lines into the future helps anticipate buying and selling points. The most important feature of a trend line is its angle. It identifies the dominant market force. When a trend line points up, it shows that bulls are in control. Then it pays to buy with a protective stop below the trend line. When a trend line points down, it shows that bears are in control. Then it pays to sell short and protect your position with a stop above the trend line. Most chartists draw a trend line through extreme high and low points, but it is better to draw it through the edges of congestion areas. Those edges show where the majority of traders have reversed direction. Technical analysis is poll-taking, and poll-takers want to track opinions of masses, not of a few extremists. Drawing trend lines through the edges of congestion areas is somewhat subjective. You have to watch out for the temptation to slant your ruler. Panic dumping by bulls at the bottoms and panic covering by bears at the tops create extremes, which appear as long tails on the charts. You want to base your trend lines on the edges of congestion areas and not on tails, because tails show little about the crowd other than its tendency to panic. The extreme points are very important, but not for drawing trend lines. Markets usually recoil from those tails, offering opportunities to short-term traders. A bar that looks like a finger sticking out of a tight chart pattern provides a valuable reference point for short-term traders. Markets constantly fluctuate, seeking an area that generates the highest volume of trading. A tail shows that a certain price has been rejected by the market. It usually leads to a swing in the opposite direction. As soon as you recognize a tail, trade against it. Place your protective stop halfway through the tail. If the market starts chewing its tail, it is time to get out. The single most important feature of a trend line is its slope. When a trend line slants up, bulls are in control and it pays to look for buying opportunities. When a trend line slants down, bears are in control and it pays to look for shorting opportunities. You can rate the importance of any trend line by examining five factors. The time frame of the trend line, its length, the number of times prices touch it, its angle, and volume. The longer the time frame, the more important the trend line. A trend line on a weekly chart identifies a more important trend than a daily trend line. A trend line on a daily chart identifies a more important trend than an hourly trend line, and so on. The longer the trend line, the more valid it is. A short trend line reflects mass behavior over a short period. A longer trend line reflects mass behavior over a longer time. The longer a trend continues, the greater its inertia. A major bull market may follow its trend line for several years.